yeah, nobody expected us to be here. But the way I look at it is the, this senior class that we have, I mean, it was the first group of people that I met when I first got here. Even when I was on official visits, I just hung out with them the most. And I just, over these years, I just became so close to them. Like people like Duran and Curtis, like those are my, my friends, like, like brothers to me. And I wanna I wanted do everything in my power to make sure we send them out with a ring because they've been here, they've been here all these years. And unfortunately they dealt with some stuff. I mean, it wasn't their fault, but they dealt with some stuff where they didn't get nothing. They didn't get no rings or nothing. I mean, they was, the one year they went to the Gator Bowl, they lost. Then the year after that, we was ineligible and then we didn't get it done last year. So my biggest motivation this whole season was to make sure that they get something to remember themselves from being here. So that's what the big focus for us is, basically. Is there a chip still? I mean, you guys had a chip against Wisconsin. You had a chip against Alabama. Once again, you're, you're what, seven point underdog to these guys. <laughs> yeah, what, what else is new? Oh yeah, we still we still got a lot to prove. I mean, as you can see, we still don't get the respect that we deserve. I've seen some things on the internet where we like, we're like 66 percent of the world is picking Oregon, and I mean I understand why. I mean, you know, everybody they see Oregon and they like, oh wow, you know. But I mean, I know, it's just motivation to come out here and make sure we get the job done on January 12th. You've you seen talk some about your development with with Vaughn and the way that you guys have grown as safeties and how important. <laughs> that development is going to be in a game against somebody like Maryland? Uh, well, as far as me and Bond concerned, uh, you know, yeah, we have, it's been a lot of, it's been an up and down season. We have done a lot of growing up this season and going against a Heisman quarterback like Marcus Mariota, I mean, he, the man is smart. He makes the right throw. So it's up to us to just play our keys and make sure that we do everything that we was coached to do. Basically, I feel like the secondary will be tested. I feel like this game could be won or lost with the secondary because they're going to challenge us a lot. And as me and Vaughn being like leaders of the defense in the secondary, it's, just, it's up to us to make sure everybody's lined up and make sure everybody's playing it right. You talked about the ups and downs. What were the, what were the downs? Uh, we had a lot of MAs. Uh, sometimes it was tackling. I mean, sometimes it was pass coverage. I mean, like for the beginning of the year, Vaughn's pass coverage wasn't good, then my, my tackling wasn't good, and now we've done a lot to correct that where that's not an issue anymore. So, I mean, that's just the improvements that I've seen. You face some very good receivers this year. Might this be the best group of pass catchers you've faced, though? I won't know until we get to play them. <laughs> uh, the, I would say the best group of receivers we face this season is between Cincinnati and Alabama. Two, games, two games in a row, two games in a row, you have held in check guys that went to New York who were Heisman finalists. Melvin Gordon, Mari Cooper, now you've got another one. Do you take it personally, you personally, and as the team and secondary of shutting these guys down? Absolutely. I mean, as it's not just a secondary thing, it's a total defense thing. I mean, we all know the hype that people get, but like I said, we don't back down to no challengers. Like, we don't, we really don't care where people was at. I mean, f football is football. I mean, we just gonna find a way to get the job done. And that's basically what everybody do. We focus and figure out a way to, to all work together to stop their number one player. 